Good morning everybody. Welcome to my creative time with Emma and also welcome to a new segment on my blog called Birthday Palooza. So basically since we all basically birthday cards are probably the most cards that us all of us crafters create nowadays. We figured we'll, we'll go ahead and dedicate one day out of the month um, just to birthday cards period. So this way whatever secret stash you have of mine we could I'm going to try and like mix and match like old ones with new ones or just so this way you could get more use out of your products okay okay so for my card and the thing is that with mine <laughs> I actually had little pieces in my little scraps because I started coloring them and I didn't want to use them anymore um, but I figured, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and use it. They kind of, I don't know, I feel like they don't really mesh well together. But we're going to go ahead and use them because I don't want them to be wasted, okay? So let me show you what I did use. Um, the Adventure Begins. And from this set, I went ahead and I used those balloons. And then we used Thanks for the Lift. We used the little airplane, um, send, no, Sending Birthday Wishes, along with the little banner. Okay, so I'm going to show you the pieces I had already. So I had these, basically almost the whole card. I just added these to it. And the, I know the reason why I didn't want to use these is because I hated the way this came out. I did not like the way the airplane came out because I was trying to go with the white airplane. But I figured, you know, let me just kind of shadow it in with some grays. And I did not like the way it came out. So I figured, you know what? <clears throat> I'm glad I didn't throw away because we're going to recycle that right now. And this I didn't like because I didn't like the way it looked, the way I colored it in. But I figured, you know what, it'll be okay because it kind of matches the windows. Um, and then this one, I don't know why I didn't use this. I just didn't use it. I just found it in there. So I figured we could kind of attach that. I went ahead and I put the little pop dots on there already. Um, and this here... Don't ask me where this came about, but I found this in my stash as well. So I figured, you know what, maybe we can make it like a night... Oops, sorry, honey. I didn't know it was that close. I was thinking maybe we could do like a nighttime scene um, and make it like the plane is... is um, what do you call that? Flying at night, which I think I might have tried to do. And I have a feeling I didn't use it because of this right here. I don't like any flaws, <laughs> but I think I know how I'm going to fix it. But let's go ahead and get this together first, okay? So, of course, I'm using my, um, the base of my card is going to be my favorite paper tray ink. And this is also paper tray ink paper as well. It's like that shimmery card stock. I'm not sure if you could see that, the shimmery part in the camera, but I'm taking off the little pop dot thingies in the back here. Okay, so yeah, I think that's probably why I didn't use this because I had a feeling I was going to do something like this for Halloween. So what we're going to do with that, let's hope this works. I'm just going to take my white jelly roll pen and let me find a little scrap paper here. Kind of get this started. Okay, so we're just going to get this and we're just going to go ahead and just color. I'm not sure if that's going to make a difference or not, but... I thought those didn't look too bad. Okay, see, you could fix a mistake. Okay, that wasn't too bad at all. So now that we got that part salvaged, I just won't do a really close up on the picture taking. <laughs> okay, so now we're just gonna go ahead and just add all of these together. Um, so I could probably do it plain, but being that it's a birthday card, I wanna add these, see, I'm not sure if I wanna add the balloons or not because, well, let's go ahead and do it because it'll bring some brightness out on this. So let's see. Let's put the balloons down first. Yeah, well, it's just to give it some colors. I feel like it'll be too dull the other way with just the little airplane. Okay, so let's put that like so. Um, all right, let's go ahead and take this. Let's put this on next. And we'll put the little airplane on last. See, so whatever you make errors or you don't like something, don't throw them away, people, because look at this. We're making a whole card out of scraps. So, ooh, you know what? 
Okay, I feel like I made it too much over that side, but that's all right. It's okay. I'll just put this like so. I feel like everything's to the left a little bit. Let's see. Sorry, I have it out of the camera because I'm trying to lift it up a tad without ruining my card. Okay, Whew, that was a close one. It's okay if we go over it a little bit. Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. That's a little bit better. Yeah, that was just too, I feel like it was across the street. <laughs> it was just too far over. Okay, so let me go ahead and put this on. Yeah, see, I really wasn't feeling the balloons, but I'm thinking, you know what, that'll give it definitely some color. And then we'll put that like so. Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and get our little shimmery, the little wink of Stella. Um, and then we'll just kind of just go over the balloons to make them, give them a little shine. We'll do that. I'll kind of start with the lighter colors first, just in case it bleeds off. It won't. Okay, I'm going to kind of um, wipe this off on some paper on this, over here I have to the left, to the right of me. And then I'm just going to go ahead and color this in here. Oops. My hair. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and just color that in like so. And then we're going to color in this blue guy here. I wasn't sure how this was going to take because I'm not sure how long ago I actually colored those in. So it didn't come out too bad. So now um, let's just go ahead and put some on the windows too. Just like so. And then let's go ahead and throw some um, this glossy accents. Let's put that on the windows as well to make them, you know, the windows are shiny. So they can look like shiny and clean. Alright, so it won't be so plain. Yeah, actually it doesn't look too bad. I'm Like I said, I'm still questioning those balloons, but it gives it some color. Um, because that's our focal point anyway, this birthday. Okay everybody, so hopefully you like this. Um, so I'm assuming that's going to be the moon. <laughs> um, so yeah, so hopefully you like my card, everybody. Thank you so much for stopping by. And don't forget to head on over to my blog at www.creativetimeforme.com to see what the rest of my design team has for you today. Um, and also don't forget to join us back here on Tuesday for our first official day of sneaky peeks for 2018. I'm super excited. Um, we have some fun stuff for you coming up this year. So um, if I don't come back in here tomorrow, which I probably won't, have a fabulous weekend, everybody, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye. Okay, I had to come back on really quick because this was totally bothering me. What I did was I took this from my more stitched edges die, um, and then I went ahead and I figured I'd do it at the bottom to make it look like clouds. And I kind of, and this, I wish it would have looked like this, but I didn't, since I didn't do it at the same time, I just kind of grabbed my um, light gray, the, my Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers, and I kind of just swiped through it a little. I know it's not perfect, but I like it tons better than what it did before. And now I see why I didn't use this in the past, but I did do it because there's some red marker there. And I know that's why I didn't do it. So I'm going to go ahead and also just kind of use my white, uh, this jelly roll pen. And I just fixed that really quick. So that's it, everybody. Um, go ahead and head on over to my blog and see what my team has done. And thanks for tuning in again. And I will see you all back here next week. Bye-bye.